Hi friends, uh, wonderful good morning. Uh, here I am going to explain a system which is installed in our industry. Uh, this is sort of a belt conveyor. As you can see, this is a rubber belt and this is conveying material to our industry. We have a cement industry over here uh, and this system is con actually the belt conveying system but it is producing free energy for us. So on internet, as you know, people are uploading free energy videos or free energy videos. So these free energy videos, they are just fake videos. Mostly are fake videos. Uh, nothing is free in the world and no energy is, is there when no energy is existing which is free. Uh, so here is, it's also the same way free energy is not existing but the way we are producing free energy from this system is something you will understand while you will be watching this video. So keep watching and keep complete video, keep watching complete video so you will understand how our system works. So this is very interesting machine, uh, dual drive. This belt conveyor, this is running by dual drive. One motor is over here, and this is the brake uh, disc, you can say, the brake disc. While we are not using our system, brakes are applied. These two cylinders and pistons are there inside. So these two uh, cylinders, uh, they are applying brakes to the brake, uh, brake uh, disc, and the system is stopped. Now the system is in steady condition, so this is stopped. And here is the unit which is used to apply the brakes. I mean to say this is the hydraulic units, the hydraulic unit, the hydraulic unit is supplying uh, fluid, hydraulic fluid or oil or here to this, these lines and these lines are applying brakes to the system. Uh, so this is the structure as you can see here is a drum, here is another drum and here is another drive. This one you can see this is another disc brake which is uh, installed over here uh, to this belt conveyor. So the belt conveyor, how it is working, how it is free, I mean to say if I will give you some understanding, you will understand how the system works. So this belt conveyor, this is actually taking the materials which is limestone and uh, shale or clay. These two materials are taken by this belt and, these, and this belt is going, this is somewhat uh, four or five kilometers long belt. So this is steep, this is going down, steep down and there Downside, down the hill, we have a cement industry over here, our plant. So this uh, belt is taking material uh, downside. So that's why while the material is there on the belt, so the down shoot, it is running very in the very high speed and the system is overdrived, overdrived by the force. I mean to say the gravity force is overdriving the complete system, these motors. Now I'm showing the, you, you the motor or generators. Uh, so the whole system is going, I mean to say, it's overdriving by the force, by the gravity force. The gravity is applied uh, to the belt conveyor uh, over the load, while the belt conveyor is loaded. Uh, so here are the motors. These are Chinese motor, you can see. Uh, the motor I'm going to show you. This is the type of the motor. There is 400 kilowatt motor, delta connected. IP55, 690, 690 volts. This is an MV motor and 415 ampere. Uh, so these are the specs and 1500 RPM. Some way, 1500 RPM. Uh, so this motor can be run from 5 hertz to 50 hertz. Variable frequency drive motor. Here is a three stage gearbox from front flender uh, coupling, then input shaft, uh, three stage. Uh, transmission again coupling and then there is the uh, drive drum and here is the uh, brake disc of course uh, so now I am taking you to the other side of the system here you will see uh, these are the two cables which is supplying initially these cables are supplying power to the motor and first the system is run by the as as these more motors are run so while the system is coming to run so the belt conveyor is also coming to run under the load and under the load these are overdriving these motors and the motors become generators then and they are supplying power back to the line so how this motor is as you can see there is a small motor this is just a cooling disc you can see the, this is the cooling disc for the main motor here is the cover for the cooling disc here is again the same motor another one same specs same configuration and here are the two cables which are uh, connected to our system now i'm going to show you the drive system so while i will show you the drive system you will understand fully this system so keep watching this video maybe this will be a little bit long uh, but this is very much inf informative so you will get complete information from this video now i'm taking you to the 
main control center or motor control center or MCC. So we are going to our MCC right now. So here this MCC and here is the transmission lines. You can see the overhead transmission lines and here the cable is connected. This cable is coming to our MCC and from here this power is coming, our power is going up in reverse direction so both directions the power is going and coming uh, here are the panels so this is interesting type of uh, panels uh, frequency special frequency inverter which is used to regenerate energy so this one you can see this is mv and again here is the circuit breaker these are small circuit breakers for different functions different uh, other i mean to say the braking system and so many other things uh, these uh, breakers are installed and then later here is the siemens control system and here is the drive you can see the siemens simetics drive this one then further i will show you some further more this is also mv system or low voltage here is another drive you can see this is simetics of course This one is another drive, another module for the same and here is the last one, the last module. Just I showed you all the modules and now I am going to take you to the PLC panel. Here is the PLC panel which is PLC slave as you can see PLC slave. So this one is and just show you here is this PLC system communication and then power supply. Here again the communication and there are uh, isolators installed and here is a PLC system which is LM Bradley of course AB as you can see this one so this is the processor and these are the IO modules and here are the interposing relays for different purposes. So then coming over here this is HV high voltage as you can see high voltage line counters these are, uh, there are measurements of course measurements are there the reverse metering which is i mean to say we are feeding back the energy from the motors or generators back to the system and uh, while we are starting up so that the energy is taken so this this all energy is counted by these meters and here is the circuit breaker the big circuit breaker you can see the chinese one of course and this is for the control of all power the whole incomer is over here here is a small diagram and here is another small diagram which you can see uh, the measurements cities in each and everything is shown over here on this diagram so hopefully people you watch this video and you understood that free energy is something not free but uh, as you you cannot i mean to say you cannot duplicate this system or replicate this system in your host house or in your office or in other vicinity because uh, you know in industry we need uh, limestone and we need uh, shale uh, which is conveyed on this belt so we are consuming that material and the free energy which we are producing that is the byproduct of our uh, process uh, so that's why you people should not be cheated or you should not be confused of the free energy that free energy is something you can produce free energy you can produce in some way like this for the household you people should install the solar system or wind turbines where the wind is available because wind is not everywhere but almost uh, this is in nature that you will get some in some sort of energy free i mean to say uh, either you will get sun either you will get wind so those are the free energies you can utilize for uh, producing the electricity so those those things are good and also you people should uh, con conserve energy because energy conservation is way easy than energy production so conserve energy that's the cry that's the cry of the day so you people should and thank you for watching if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications thank you for watching